Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to take the previous video and also find the current in the circuit. On the previous video, we found that the voltage across the capacitor is equal to 20 volts minus 10 volts times e to the minus 0.6t, should be t divided by seconds so that the units cancel out. But now we're going to find the current, and the general approach is that the current across the resistor is going to be equal to the voltage across the resistance, and the, voltage, the current across the capacitor is going to be C times dV dt. So now we need to define the current right here to the circuit, and we can see that the current through the circuit right here to the 30 volt to the 30 uh, volt source, and through the 10 ohm resistor, let's call it I of t. So I as a function of time is going to be equal to the sum of the current through the 20 ohm resistor. So we can say that will be I through the resistor plus the current through the capacitor, I through the capacitor. Of course, we're not going to have any current through here because the switch is open after time equals zero. So what's the voltage across the resistor here? Well, the voltage across the resistor is going to be the same as the voltage across the capacitor because they are parallel branches to one another and they're joined over here, they're joined over here. So we can then say that this is equal to the voltage across the resistor, which is the same as the voltage across the capacitor, divided by the resistance, that's what we get from here, and then plus the current through the capacitor is going to be the capacitance times the derivative of the voltage with respect to time. So in this particular instance, these two V's are going to be the same V, it's going to be the voltage defined right here. So next, we write what these are equal to. So we have the voltage, which is 20 volts minus 10 volts times e to the minus 0.6t. That should be a 0.6t, all divided by the resistance of 20 ohms. And then we go plus the capacitance, which is 1 quarter of a farad, times the derivative of the voltage with respect to time. So the derivative of this equation right here, the derivative of this constant is zero, and the derivative of this would be minus 10 volts times a minus 0 0.6, uh, that would be a plus 6 volts, that would be times 6 volts times e to the minus 0 0.6t. All right, so that would be the derivative of this quantity right here, multiplied times c. So simplifying this a little bit more, so this is equal to volts times resistance, that would be 1 amp, minus 0 0.5 amps, times e to the minus 0 0.6t, and here we have 1 quarter times 6, that would be plus 1.5 farad times volt, that would be amps, times e to the minus 0 0.6t. All right, so we have a minus 0.5 amps, a plus 1.5 amps, so that gives us 1 amp plus 1 amp times e to the minus 6, oop, I keep forgetting the zero point, 0 0.6t, and that would be the current through the capacitor, or no, not the current through the capacitor, but the current leaving the voltage source as a function of time, and there's the equation. That's how it's done.